Okay guys, in this quick tutorial, we're going to be talking about Google Forms. This is going to be part one of goodness knows how many parts, but let's start here. First thing you need to do is open up a web browser and go to docs.google.com. Let's try that together, docs.google.com. Now once you get to docs.google.com, go ahead and click in the upper left hand corner. This is the main menu, these little three lines here, and go to the purple forms. Now we're not going to be talking about any templates today. We are going to be starting from scratch. So go ahead and click on blank and let's get started. Now the first thing you're going to see is your title name. This is the name that all the people filling out this form will see. So give it a title name of contact us because that's what we'll be making today. We are going to see that it copies the name up there, but I don't want contact us up there. This is the name of the file. This is what I'm going to see in Google Drive. So I want to know what this is. It's a customer contact form. All right. So now that we've got our name sorted, let's give this contact us a description. So if you are interested in any products or need technical support, please contact us. All right, there we go. Once you're done with that title and description, go ahead and click on the first question. Look at that. I don't want my first question to be multiple choice. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to create a short answer question. There are many things here, but we're not going to talk about them all. We'll talk about these later when we do a quiz. Uh, but for today, short answer and paragraph form. Short answer <coughs> is going to be for the name. We want them to fill in their name and we also want this to be something they have to do, required. Now let's take a look at it. When I click on required, you're going to get this asterisk up here, the red asterisk, and it'll say required so they know that if they see this next to whatever field this is, they're going to have to fill this in. All right, and let's go ahead and close that. Now let's go to our next one. I know the next question is going to be a short answer. So I don't have to go up here and click this add a question button. Instead, I'm just going to copy this one. Boop copy it goes right below this one. This one is going to be email address. And again, this is going to be short answer. However, there's something else that I'm going to do. I'm going to click over here on these three dots on the bottom right and click response validation. Now this is really neat because I can go to numbers, text links, etc. But let's talk about text first. So I want this to be an email address. So if this is not in the correct email format, they're going to get an error message. And let's go ahead and create an error message for them, which is going to be, please check, check, oh, can't spell check, please check. <laughs> Come on, fingers, don't fail me now. <laughs> All right, please check your email address. And let's just be nice and say thank you. Let's see what that looks like. Go to preview, little eyeball in the sky looking at you. And we can see that you have to type in your name here. My name is Barafuco with an H. <laughs> Barafuco. Hey, Barafuco, what's my email address? My email address is Barafuco at gmail. Submit. What? Uh-oh, what did I forget here? I forgot a dot something. And so if it's not in the correct email format, boop, they're going to see your message, which is please check your email address. Thank you. And let's go ahead and put a dot. Oh, dot com's fine. And look at that. 
it goes away because it says, hey, that's correct. Submit. That's going to go to Butterfuko. <laughs> now you have a choice right now. You can click and submit another one if you want. And in another lesson, I'll teach you guys more about how to control this. But for now, let's keep it super simple. This is only part one. Close that out. And let's go back to our questions. Number one, name. Number two, address. But before we move on, why not just show you one more thing? Uh, if you want to play around with your friends, go ahead and do this. Uh, we're going to change it. And we're going to say we don't want it to contain <laughs> an at symbol. And in the message, we're going to say something like, hmm, you forgot the at symbol. Can you please <coughs> double check your email? All right. And this is a required section. And so they have to get it right or they can't submit the form. So let's say your friend's going to come here and his name is Barabini. Barabini. My name is Barabini. And my email address is Barabini. Barabini at. Huh? Barabini at. What? You forgot the at symbol. Can you please double check your email? Wait. At? No, no, I have it right here. Look, I put the at symbol in there. What are you talking about? <sighs> this is not working. Hold on, let me just at gmail.com. Submit. 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 Oh, this thing's crazy. Look at that. Well, now it's gone. And submit? Eh, look at that. It did work. But <laughs> I got around it. It wouldn't let me complete that field. So submit another response. No, let's get out of here. <coughs> so you can see how you can play with this. Now, I'm not going to show you everything. I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory, some of this. So I want you guys to sit around and play with this yourselves. And after you do something, uh, let's say contains blah, 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 and write a custom message and go check it and see what it does. I urge you to explore. And that's how you really learn these programs is by just playing around with them yourself. All right. But for this project, which is worth points, you need to do it like this. So when you submit something to me, don't submit it and do the joke. But instead, write down email address and do a proper customer error report, which is going to be, please check your email address. And that's it. Now, my final question over here before we wrap up is going to not be a short answer. So I'm not going to duplicate. Instead. I'm going to click on this plus symbol here and I'm going to check paragraph. All right, because this is going to be a longer section. Uh, okay, here, how can we help you? Keep it nice and easy. This is a section that they can sit down and write their entire problem out, or they can write their entire interest about a particular product. And Let's have a little fun with this. Let's make it, no, well, we're not going to make it required, but we are going to go to response validation. Hmm. We're going to talk about length, okay? And let's say it has, it has a maximum count of 15 characters. And let's make the message say something like, dude. Uh, let's see, because there's a calm down already. That's enough. Don't get K 
carried away. <laughs> okay, let's see what this does. All right, so required, we got our name, we got our email address at blah.com, and that's proper format. It's got an at sign and a dot. Um, how can we help you? Well, it all started when, what? Hold on, I wanted to tell you my life story and about this problem that I'm having. Dude, calm down already, that's enough. Don't get carried away, what? I, I, I just started, come on. Submit, submit, it's not working because there's a maximum character count of, what did we put, 10, <laughs> 15? And so they can't write too much. Now we can actually do the opposite as well, which is pretty cool. Let's say minimum character count, and let's say uh, you have to have at least 15. And we'll change our message. Remember, double click selects a word, triple click selects a whole line. For those of you that are studying Word and Excel and good stuff like that. Okay, where are we at here? What could we say? Come on. You can do better than that. Try again. Try adding some more. How about that? Okay. So let's see what that does. And we've got our name, email address, not the right format. Please check your email. How can you help us? Uh, never mind. Actually, I, I, I changed my mind. You, you guys don't need to help me. What? Huh? That's the, I, can't, I can't submit because it's too short. I need to complain some more or express some more interest in something. Uh, Never mind. Okay. Okay, never mind. Okay, there we go. Now it's long enough where I, to where I can submit it. Uh, oh no, but my email's not in the correct email format, so it's not going to go through. I'm going to close that. Just playing around with this so you guys can see some of the things you can and can't do. And again, I want you guys to play around with all these functions that way you can get an idea of what this does. And for this one, we are not going to use a response validation. So turn that off and it's gonna be required because if they're here for a reason. I don't want them to forget to put that reason down, so I want it to be required. And this is all we're gonna do for today. Next time, we're gonna talk about configuration settings and we're also going to, oh boy. <laughs> Next time we're gonna talk about configuration settings and then we're gonna talk about how to set up a survey in a different section. All right, I hope you had fun. See you on the next one, ta-ta. <laughs> Send it? Yeah.